Welcome back for another episode of Nutrition World's podcast. We're dealing with energy this month and lack of. Today, I want to talk about the lifestyle reasons for your low energy. Not really about nutrients or other things or about what you eat, but more about some of the things that we practice every single day that may be draining us and not empowering us. I said this before on other podcasts, don't let people tell you that it's you have uh, TMB disease, too many birthdays. That is not the reason why most people have, until they get 80 or 90 maybe, but even then not. We can do so much to empower ourselves, but you got to have some path to look inward, to find out, to ask the question, why am I feeling this way? Because I know plenty of people who have more energy at 70 than they did than most people do at sometimes 30. So we can make this chemistry better. I don't care where you are. So the first plug on this is excess carbohydrates. If there's one thing that I've noticed over 45 years, the people who eat too many carbs, the pastas, the breads, the corns, the potatoes, uh, the even sometimes fruits, sometimes healthy vegetables, if you're eating that in this excess, and your protein is half of that, you're going to have some demise as the years go on. Why? Like Dr. Peter Atiyah says in his book, Outlive, and I'm really, really connected with his wisdom on the protein subject. When we lack protein as we age, we, number one, going to have some cognitive dysfunction because of that. Two, if you look at the medical studies that correlate uh, muscle mass with longevity and mortality is the number one most recognized risk factor is the loss of muscle. Well, guess what? The biggest thing that affects muscle tissue other than working out is your level of protein. How much do we need? I think we need no less than one half gram per pound of body weight up to one gram. What does that mean? I weigh 178. I shoot for 178 grams of protein a day because I work out a lot. If you don't work out a lot, uh, at do not get less than a half a gram. That means if I was doing that, I'd be about uh, 90 grams a day. I have to do a protein drink to do that. There's no other way because I can't eat that much food and I don't want to. Protein drinks are easy. They're actually very clean, cleaner than foods. The one I use is Blue Bonnet's Whey Protein Isolate because of all of the labeling from non-GMO, no chemicals, no hormones. A lot of people want plant-based. They don't seem to agree with me as well, but we have a new one by Plant Fusion that actually has digestive enzymes in it, and it's called Plant Fusion Complete Protein, and they actually make one for women and one regular, and they really do um, help to digest so you don't get the same sometimes stomach. And then Truvani, the lady named Food Babe, who I love to death on Instagram, she's really done some real great changes in the world as far as cleanliness of restaurants and foods. Uh, Truvani makes a, a food grade uh, uh, protein like that. And I'll have to do two a day. I do one at breakfast and one at one o'clock. So I encourage you to raise your protein. Number two, sleep. I wrote a sleep book years ago and it's online. You can go to, if you Google nutritionw.com sleep ebook, you'll get it free of charge on your email and please read that. I have been a chronic insomniac uh, probably 30 or 35 years. And I've done a lot of things because I'm a guinea pig. I'm willing to try anything if it's relatively safe. And I've learned that most things didn't work. One of the reasons is because part of fixing insomnia is creating a new rhythm of sleep. We can get into rhythms of life, uh, rhythms of lazy, rhythms of overwork, rhythms of, of drinking alcohol. And part of this is patterns that we just set up, and it's hard to break. Well, what's the internal body gets used to not sleeping it kind of almost can't fix itself and it keeps flipping back into that pattern. So I have learned through the use of this ring called an Aura ring, O-U-R-A, you can order it online or go to Best Buy's. It breaks down my sleep as well as a sleep study with rim, deep, oxygen. But what it's taught me is what works and doesn't work for me. And the number one product that I have ever used that has worked and made my R rings numbers better is by U theory. It's called a sleep powder. I double dose it. I do two scoops every single night. It has been wondrous. Not everybody's going to be able to say the same thing, but this is my number one favorite product. But we also have to follow the rules in my sleepy book. Everything from masking at night, the temperature, uh, making sure that you're, uh, 
food intake is appropriate at the right time of the day. Blank, blank, blank. Just many. But you get that ebook and you can see all of the rules. It's not a book where you pick and choose. It's one I really want you to embrace because the book has very little about what to take. It has to do with how to set up a plan for success on sleep. Next, dehydration. Do you know that these minerals that are called electrolytes are actually electrically charged minerals like potassium and sodium, calcium, magnesium, it's kind of like your cell phone. If your cell phone is going dead, it doesn't work once it goes dead. And many people go to the hospital not really because they're sick sick. It's because they got dehydrated due to the sickness or due to the food poisoning or due to whatever. And if we don't have electrical charges, then we turn into your cell phone that just went dead and we don't do well. So I encourage you to increase your electrolytes and do not be afraid of sodium in modest amounts. Read Light is a brand that I love and powder. I put it in my protein drink every single day. Uh, and if I was sickly, I would do it twice a day. Read Light. Gatorade's not going to do it. It's full of too many bad chemicals. It does not have enough of the electrolyzed uh, minerals. Next is EMFs. What are those? Electromagnetic fields. You know, a lot of people make fun of that, including Elon Musk. He says it's just a joke. It's ridiculous. I don't believe that. Here's a, one of the many studies that have to do with how your brain functions. Uh, something called LAMS is a company called LAMS. I really like them. You can Google them. They sell protective clothing, and they have a hat, and they show the brain activity with or without the protection. The brain changes when you hold this against this very long. That's why using speakerphone is better, and I use a case made by Safe Sleeve. We don't sell it, but it's lead, and it helps block some of that. It does not block all of that. But setting yourself up at night with a sleep sanctuary, very important. That means phone is at least six feet away. Your lights, all your electrical stuff, six feet away, a clocks, you name it. That helps to kind of rebalance us as far as being knocked off all day long by 5G doesn't fix us completely, but it's very nice. We do sell a, a bracelet that has some uh, ability to recalibrate your energetic potential within after you're being knocked off. And then lastly, or the next to last, is a nervous system imbalance. What does that mean? That means we have this system called autonomic nervous system, and it rules on like an accelerator of your car and a brake on your car. And so part of the system, the sympathetic, is your accelerator. So when you want to go, you're pushing that, and the parasympathetic is the brake. Well, the problem is the, our American lifestyle is made us pretty much have the accelerator on most of the time, and the balancing of the parasympathetic is not working too well because as long as they're working in conjunction and balancing, it's like your thermostat on your air conditioner or heater at home. It works great if you set it at the right time place and they both are kicking on at the right time but when you have too much sympathetic sleep decreases muscle tissue decreases because you have too much cortisol uh, sense of well-being is heavily affected because you become chaotic inside when it's go 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 and you don't stop ashwagandha is one of the many good herbal nutritional compounds that i really uh, value uh, life seasons makes a great ashwagandha i take two of these a day it helps to bring back that parasympathetic nervous system but I also believe in downtime quiet time meditation time and exercise all of those help to balance that insight timer is an app that i really value for uh, many meditation parts of the puzzle where you can just tap on and lastly i think one of the bigger reasons for chronic fatigue in this country is we've kind of lost the music within us that we had when we were younger. There was a Dutch philosopher in the 16th century who said, I'll tell you one thing for sure. You are here, you are alive, and there are many wonders of this life. And I think sometimes we see life as a grim duty. And if you wake up and dreading the day because of either challenges, feeling bad, lack of energy, and start somehow shift into the place of knowing that we are in a place of wonder. And it probably won't come knocking at your door. We do have to search for some of these things and be open. 
everything from the birds singing to the sunrise to the rain outside today. Uh, it's not all gorgeous and beautiful. There's hardships. But to balance it with the wonder is like balancing that autonom autonomic nervous system. So embrace wonder along with some of these steps, and I will almost assure you your energy will improve. Thank you so much.